morning. This is JJC News. I'm Chris Salazar. And I'm Jesse Hernandez. Today's topic is one that has been thrown around for the longest time. Today's topic is one that has been thrown around for the longest time, teacher salaries. Arguments have always been made that teachers get paid either too little or too much in comparison to other jobs as well. We interviewed Kinetic Wellness teacher Abe Corretto and asked his view on this hot topic. There's too, too much of a gap throughout the state of Illinois for salaries when all the students are coming out of college with the same degree for the most part. And then you've got some uh, districts where salaries are, you know, 40000 and some districts where they're 20 and other high 20s. So there's just too big of a gap there for students to come out of school. Um, it would be nice if that gap could close a little bit where it's a little more equal pay. It shouldn't be equal all over the place, but there should be a little bit uh, closer gap. That way people might look at other districts that are paying a little bit less, but then the um, price of cost of living is a little less, so it kind of equal itself out. Let's go more into depth. Did you know? Did you know that the average salary for a teacher in Illinois is $59,113? That is $3,000 more than the average salary of all 50 states. We would also like to know some changes that Mr. Corretto would like to see. The only thing I would like to have change is health insurance. Um, even though the district still pays a portion of it, um, I pay a lot in health insurance. And I've paid, since I've been teaching 18 years, there's only been two to three years where I haven't paid health insurance. So for me, it's not so much the bump in salary, it's more could they help out with insurance costs or even graduate credit hours. Because right now, in some districts, you get graduate credit hours. If you didn't have to pay for all that, um, and the district gave you some of that money, it'd help you out a little bit but uh, it doesn't happen here. In other districts I've had, they give you some graduate hours which helps out. Um, and if they're not gonna help with those costs, then I do think salary should be higher. So kind of, if the salary's gonna be high, I think they can help you a little less with some things, but if the salary's lower than some of those other schools, well then they need to find ways to help you out with the insurance or with graduate hours. Health benefits are a huge factor when it comes to jobs. And Mr. Corretto definitely makes a strong point with the things that he mentioned. Teachers should get paid some more, in my opinion, especially if they're involved as a coach or running a club. I definitely agree with that point, as they are taking time out of their schedules after teaching to still be involved with the students. This is very true. And although I'd love to keep this going, we're unfortunately out of time. Yes, we are. So that'll do it for this section or JJC News. I'm Jesse Hernandez. And I'm Chris. Thanks for tuning in again. Stay classy, Oswego. Peace. <laughs> Should have put that on the final screen.